Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello once again. Today I'm going to be talking about The Boys. Another superhero show. You can tell I liked them. It's um, based on a comic book by Garth Ennis and Derek Robinson. It was developed by Eric Kripke for Amazon. And some of these uh, streaming services are coming out great shows. I really love this show. I think in a sea of superhero genre events and movies, the TV shows that are numerous now, something like this, a little more adult, a little more irreverent, is a breath of fresh air. It's basically about a group of vigilantes who rebel against these superheroes who are, you know, the authority, and they're basically assholes. And it can get dark, really dark. I would say more on the mature side. But it has fun with itself. It's got a good tone to it that I think it keeps consistent. There weren't many times I kept thinking to myself, oh, this is what I would like to see them do. Or... So I think they uh, pulled it off really well. I think they've been renewed. So that's a good, uh, <laughs> I guess, a good... Um, indication that um to at least put back it i was worried uh towards the end like with most of these shows that come out uh what are they gonna go for they're gonna go for the big hook for a second season and i think a lot of shows now uh keep trying to keep a balance of well this could be the end in this case i think it's more geared towards a um uh, a season two because I think it got greenlit for a season two before it premiered so, anyway the show is really good it's the perspective of the vigilantes this will have no major spoilers no major plot twist reveals other than to give the general synopsis and my thoughts after seeing the first season once now so having gone through it, it does carry you. It's a good um, flow of the story. There are a couple of cons, little nitpicks here and there, but nothing that even comes close to making it um, uh, lower its value in any way. Um, Carl Urban is great on the show. You find out a little bit more of the characters in a pretty decent way you have to get used to the uh, style of it I think but once you do I think you'll enjoy it a lot and boy does it really take from the comics there are little comic book panels that they've done on the on the show and I'm gonna, I would say if, if it's an amalgamation of all comic books but I'm gonna say it's more focused on DC if um, if there's any uh, place where the majority of it lands, but they will take it and pay homage to it. But I think it's ripping off, ripping it off. I want to say no, or I guess maybe a better way to say it is, if you're gonna do it and you're gonna rip it off, do it well. And the people you're taking it from will see that it's meant to be in the right way. That in order to tell the story, you're taking from eras of comics where they would show a twist on the superhero genre. One where the people with powers are fucking creeps and assholes. Which is like a real, a more real, realistic portrayal. It's got a great cast. Most of them grow on you. And even if you don't like them, I think you don't like them because the actor is actually pretty good. So it's written well. I would like to have seen some things done differently but what what it did show me was a pleasant surprise so a lot of times when i watch the show because of the way my mind works and the way i see myself as a writer i'm constantly 
saying, oh, this is where this is where this will go in this plot or this is where my mind is going first and it's exciting me. And a lot of times when that is um, shattered by what is actually shown, it can be disappointing in some aspects. However, if you're going to do it well, you got a vision, I'm down for it to be done however you want. I'm open-minded. I'm not a big fan of the comic, although it's come across my attention, mostly looking online, so it's not something I ha had collected. But I could see it being a catalyst for me to read it and to go look for it. So I think it works both ways. It probably works as a window into the comic book world, which is pretty rare these days, where you could find a TV show based on comic books. It's a little more mature. It has a, a, a sick twist to it. And you can find the origins in the comic where it's not a comic book twisted to be something different on TV, which you see in different variations. So this is a definite recommendation, lots of fun, a little mature, it can have its dark moments, but it's done very well. The pacing for when you're trying to bend something like this is really good, um, great maybe. Because when you, you, you're put on this ride, it's a nice escalation of, um, danger and the price or the sacrifice of the characters on the show and then it has a good dip and then rise back up watch it enjoy it i'm not sure how amazon works now so i'm not sure if this is something that is what is behind what you might call like a in like a paywall everybody seems to have netflix and ways to watch a show but things like cbs all access and amazon i think people are getting a little antsy about constantly getting new services so i'm wondering if that's going to hurt the the show's ratings in that sense where people will just go look for it and streaming sources that aren't on Amazon and maybe they figured out a way to tally that but this is not something people should miss I think people need to watch this great twist on the superhero genre I think you'll enjoy it till next time I hope to see you again you know what to do take care everybody till next time